welcome back to the video i hope you guys are doing extremely well so friends in this video i will discuss 20 most important most frequently asked mcqs of unit number 3 which is css cascading style sheet of subject code cc326 so friends if you guys have want to watch the videos of unit number 1 and unit number 2 which is already uploaded on the same channel you can find that videos of uh, uh, in the playlist or just go through the description box where you will find the link of that two videos all that 40 questions we have discussed in unit number one and unit number two are important do not miss any one of the questions and these 20 questions which i will discuss in this video are also important according to your upcoming examinations yeah it is important for your midterms and interms also okay so if you guys haven't subscribed the uh, channels yet do not forget to subscribe the channels and also share all these three videos in your class groups and your friends also so without wasting any time let's come to the next uh, first question what does css stand for so as the uh, un from the unit name clear it is uh, the correct option of this question is option number c which is cascading style set okay option number c is the correct option next question is which of the following is not a type of css option number a which is inline css option number b ex internal css option number c external css and last option is extra css so all these three uh, are the types of css but option number d is no, extra css is not a type of css so it is a correct option extra css let, let's come to the next question what is the purpose of css in web development option number a to define the content structure of a web page option number b to enhance the functionality of a web page option number c to control the layout and presentation of a web page option number d to validate html code and the correct option of this question is option number b which is to control the layout and presentation of a web page let's come to the next question which type of css is defined within the html document itself using the style element option number a inline css option number b internal css option number c external css and last option is embedded css and the correct option of this question is option number b internal css fifth number question which css property is used to control the size of text option number a text align option number b font size option number c line height option number d is text transform it's a very simple question yet important do not skip any one of the questions and please subscribe the channel i am saying again and again please subscribe the channel and like the videos and share these videos to your class group and friends also correct option of this question is option number b which is font size next question what css property can be used to change the text color of an element option number a text color option number b color option number c font color and option number d text style all these three uh, options are very confusing uh, so uh, correct option of this question is option number b which is color okay not text color or font color color is the correct option seventh number question which css property is used to adjust the space between line lines of text within the element option number a letter spacing option number b what is spacing option number c line height and last option is text spacing and the correct option is option number c which is line height next question what css property is used to make text content uppercase or lowercase option number a text transform option number b text style option number c font transform option number d case transform and options are very confusing do not confuse and the correct option is option number a which is text transform next question in css which selector target an element with the within a specific id 
ऑप्शन नंबर ए क्लास सेलेक्टर ऑप्शन नंबर बी टैक्स सेलेक्टर ऑप्शन नंबर सी आईडी सेलेक्टर एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज यूनिवर्सल सेलेक्टर एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज आईडी सेलेक्टर क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन विथ सी एस एस सेलेक्टर इज यूज टू टारगेट मल्टीपल एलिमेंट्स विद द सेमो क्लास ऑप्शन नंबर ए आई डी सेलेक्टर ऑप्शन नंबर बी क्लास सेलेक्टर सॉरी यूनिवर्सल सेलेक्टर ऑप्शन नंबर सी क्लास सेलेक्टर एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज टैक्स सेलेक्टर एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी विच इज क्लास सेलेक्टर इलेवेंथ नंबर क्वेश्चन इन सी एस एस वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ द यूनिवर्सल सेलेक्टर एंड दिस द सिंबल ऑफ द यूनिवर्सल सेलेक्टर ऑप्शन नंबर ए इट सेलेक्ट ऑल एलिमेंट इन द डॉक्यूमेंट ऑप्शन नंबर बी इट सेलेक्ट एलिमेंट्स विद द सेम क्लास ऑप्शन नंबर सी इट टारगेट एलिमेंट्स बेट्स बेस्ड ऑन देयर आई डी एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज इट टारगेट ए स्पेसिफिक एस टी एम एल एलिमेंट्स एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए विच इज इट सेलेक्ट ऑल एलिमेंट्स इन द डॉक्यूमेंट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट हाउ इज द एक्सटर्नल सी एस एस फाइल टिपिकली लिंक टू एन एस टी एम एल डॉक्यूमेंट ऑप्शन नंबर ए यूजिंग द स्टाइल एलिमेंट ऑप्शन नंबर बी using inline css option number c using the link element in the html header option number d is using the script element and the correct option of this question is option number c which is using the link element in the html header question number 13 is which css property defines the space inside an element between the content and the border ऑप्शन नंबर ए बॉर्डर स्पेसिंग ऑप्शन नंबर बी पैडिंग ऑप्शन नंबर सी मार्जिन एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज बॉर्डर विथ एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन नंबर बी विच इज पैडिंग लेट्स कम टू द फोर्टीन नंबर क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द ऑर्डर ऑफ द सीएसएस बॉक्स मॉडल प्रॉपर्टीज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द इनर मोस्ट लेयर ऑप्शन नंबर ए कॉन्टेंट बॉर्डर मार्जिन पैडिंग ऑप्शन नंबर बी कॉन्टेंट पैडिंग बॉर्डर मार्जिन ऑप्शन नंबर सी मार्जिन बॉर्डर पैडिंग कॉन्टेंट एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन पैडिंग margin content and border correct option is option number b content then padding then border then margin okay 15th number question how can you select an background image for an html element using css option number a using the background image property option number b using the text decoration property option number c using the color property and last option is using the font weight property and the correct option of this question is option number a which is using the background image property next question is when using an external css file where should the link element be placed in an html document option number a inside the body element option number b inside the head element option number c inside a div element and last option is at the end of the document just before ending of the html tag so the correct option is option number b which is inside the head element next question what does the css property display in line block do to an element option number a max the element of block level element option number b max the element of flex container option number c allows the element to be both inline and block label option number d is hides the element from view and the correct option is option number c allows the element to be both inline and block label third last question of this entire session is in the css box model which part defines the space outside the element creating a gap between it and other elements option is content option number b is padding option number c is margin and last option is border and the correct option of this question is option number c which is margin second last question which css property is used to control the spacing between the individual characters in a text option number a word spacing option number b text in indent option number c letter spacing and last option is line height and the correct option of this question is option number c which is letter spacing let's come to the 20th number question which is the last question what css property is used to change the style of list items bullet or numbering in an unordered list option number a list style types option number b list style image option number c list style position option number d list type 
and the correct option of this question is option number a which is gist style type okay so this was the last question thank you so much for watching the videos if you guys have enjoyed watching the videos please do not forget to like the videos and also if you have any queries related to any subject uh, or for this particular subject also you can comment i will reply within hours okay and also do not forget to subscribe the channel and share these videos to your friends and class group also thank you so much for watching the videos bye bye guys